Hi, good morning, everyone. Better welcome to another session, uh, day six of our session, where I am preparing you for four important exams DEPR, RBI DEPR exam, Indian Economic Service exam, IAS Economics Optional, and UGC Net Economics. Every day we will go ahead and we will pick up on one topic. And we will go ahead and solve some question, some past year question, something related to that topic. Tune in to our YouTube channel at 10.30 a.m. every morning from Monday to Friday and go ahead and practice these questions with me. Also go ahead and join our Telegram group for all the updates that we go ahead and post on uh, different courses and different uh, you know, forms and also the daily quizzes that we conduct on the Telegram group. Before I can go ahead and I can start, I would like to go ahead and start with a beautiful quote that I recently read. And it says, I never dreamed about success. I worked for it. So this quote says for itself, just dreaming for these beautiful, most you know, prestigious position is not enough. If you want these positions, agar aapko ye cheez chahiye zindagi mein, agar aapko ek officer banna hai, agar aapko itni reputed post par hoona hai, then just dreaming about it is not enough. Kya karna padega? Mehnat karni padegi. Uske liye lagan se kaam karna padega. You have to work for it. Only if you work for it, you will get it. Right? Okay, beta. So the topic that I'm taking for today, that is called as information economics. Let's look into the first question. It says, match the following and four options are given to you. Adverse selection, moral hazard, principal agent problem and free rider problem. Look at the right hand side. It says lighthouse. It says insurance market, right? It says hidden action and hidden quality. Take a better. Let's start with the answer to this question. The four options are given to the to you. And you need to go ahead and match these. Right? Okay, let's start. So, first of all, let us try to understand what is an adverse selection problem. Adverse selection problem kis ko bola jata hai. Usually, adverse selection problem is anything that happens before the product is sold, before sales. Usually, it is the problem of hidden quality. Just for example, before I get the product, especially if I am buying any second-hand product, I will not be able to go ahead and tell whether it is a good quality second-hand product or a bad quality second-hand product. Huh? When the insurance company is selling you insurance, the company will not be able to tell whether, you know, you actually go ahead and have no disease or you're just faking it to the company that you have no disease, right? So such things, right, where you are not, where you, you lack information, right? And because of that, you can select a wrong product. Company ek bohat zyada risky insaan ko insurance de de ya aap ek bohat galat product khareed lo which is actually a bad quality product, that is the problem of adverse selection. So the typical lemon versus oranges can also be a problem of adverse selection. So we can go ahead and we can, uh, you know, match adverse selection to the issue of hidden quality. Right? Okay. Let's talk about moral hazard. So as the word suggests, moral hazard means morally hazardous, means morally incorrect. So when you do something that is morally correct, something which is morally incorrect, that is called as a moral hazard problem. Usually, a moral hazard problem takes place after the sale. Huh? So for example, let's say that I have purchased car insurance. And now I am driving very rashly. I am driving very rashly. Right? Then I am doing something which is morally incorrect because I have an insurance for it. Yeah, if I have any car against insurance, le liye, theft insurance, and I am randomly parked, I am going to get my money. 
then that is a morally incorrect behavior and that's the problem of moral hazard. So moral hazard is related with hidden action. You don't know the action of a person after the sale. Jab aap bech do, to uske baad uska kya action rahega? That's the problem of moral hazard. A very typical example that I give my students. I don't know after you have taken my course, whether at your place you're studying or not. Whether you are putting that hard work or not. I have given my 100%. I am teaching you and now if you are not putting the hard work, then we both fail. Not only you, even I fail as a faculty because I want score of my students to be good, right? So that's a moral hazard. Okay, beta. So moral hazard can be linked to the problem of hidden action. Okay, now let's go ahead to the next one, which is principal agent problem. So as the word suggests, principal agent problem basically goes ahead and it has two people involved in it. One is called the principal and second is called the agent. The principal, but I think it should be this. Please verify. Huh? I, I, this should be this principal agent. Okay. Just verify the the spelling that that should be coming in principle. Huh? So this principle is basically a rule. So like I, you can say my principle does not allow me to lie for anyone. This principle is like a headmaster of, of some place, like, like the head of an organization. So, principal, here principle Right? So, it would be this. Okay. So, principal agent problem basically says when there is a conflict between the head and their subordinate. Kind of that. Huh? So, for example, there can be a, a conflict between the stockholders and the corporate leadership. There can be a conflict in the priority between owner of asset and the person who controls the asset. Just say, for example, suppose I own this institute. Okay, now I have kept some people under me. Okay, and I want them to work in a in a in a particular way. मुझे चाहिए कि वो ये वाला assignments बनाएं और ये वाले answers दें and so on and so forth. But they are not working the way that I want them to work. Then that is a principal agent problem, right? So when we talk about principal agent problem, then this can be because I don't have any other option. I will just go with an example of principal agent problem and it can be insurance. company. And the last one that I have is free rider problem. So free rider problem is when people free ride. So free rider problem basically arises um, in cases where you don't pay for a commodity and you use it. Just a street light. Even if I have not paid for streetlight, I can freely use that streetlight, right? So I don't want to pay a tax because I can use it free of cost. That is a non-exclusive commodity. Mirko exclude nahi kar sakte Right? So therefore, a lighthouse is an example of free rider problem. Right? So that would be the answer to this question. Okay, beta. Come to the next question. The bad quality product drive out the product that are of good quality. What is this called? So bad quality product. Matlab, ek imagine karo car market, just me achi cars bhi on buri cars bhi hai. So kyunki buri cars bhi hai, aur ek customer differentiate nahi kar pa raha hai, ek achi aur ek buri car mein, to wo kya karega? He will go ahead and he will pay lesser price for the product. He will not be pay, willing to pay more price for the product. And when he will be not be willing to pay more price for the product, so good quality cars will go out of the market. Achhi quality car ya market se nikal jayengi. They will go out of the market. And this will only uh, leave you with a bad quality car. So this is a typical problem of market of lemons, right? Where because of lemons, the oranges exit the market, right? So answer will be B. So, Let's try to see this thing. 
द लेमन मार्केट वॉज प्रोपाउंडेड बाय जॉर्ज एकरलॉफ राइट एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू हिम द बैड क्वालिटी प्रोडक्ट ड्राइव आउट द गुड क्वालिटी प्रोडक्ट बैड क्वालिटी प्रोडक्ट की वजह से जो अच्छा क्वालिटी प्रोडक्ट होता है वो मार्केट से निकल जाता है इट एग्जिट द मार्केट लेमन प्रॉब्लम एग्जिस्ट इन बोथ कंज्यूमर एंड प्रोड्यूसर मार्केट कहीं पे भी एग्जिस्ट कर सकता है इन फैक्ट इट कैन ऑल्सो गो हेड एंड इट कैन एग्जिस्ट इन द इंश्योरेंस मार्केट इन द फाइनेंशियल मार्केट राइट एंड दिस इज वन एग्जाम्पल जहां पर क्योंकि पूरी इंफॉर्मेशन अवेलेबल नहीं होती है राइट आप बोरोवर की क्रेडिट वर्दीनेस चेक नहीं कर पाते हो सो यू गो हेड एंड ऑफर लोन एट अ हायर इंटरेस्ट रेट ठीक है मे बी वो बोरोवर एक अच्छा रिस्क फ्री बोरोवर है बट बिकॉज आई एम नॉट एबल टू चेक द क्रेडिट क्रेडिट वर्दीनेस ऑफ द बोरोवर आई एंड अप गिविंग हिम लोन एट अ हायर इंटरेस्ट रेट इसमें भी स्क्रीनिंग आ गई है लाइक यू हैव सिबिल स्कोर दैट कैन बी यूज टू टेस्ट द क्रेडिट वर्दीनेस ओके बेटा कम टू दस्ट क्वेश्चन सो इट इज professor rawal uses two way theories to define justice what are these theories so these theories beta they are actually merit theory and need theory do theories unhone di thi answer is b and his entire theory rawalsian uh, function bhi padha hai humne in microeconomics rawalsian utility function so he always said maximize the utility of the poor of the minima maximize the utility of the minima so his theory it's based on ethics equity fair and justice and he goes ahead and he explains the theory in two ways so the first way that we have that is actually called as merit theory to merit theory kya bolta hai na ki hame logo ko merit ke basis pe treat karna hai we need to treat people or punish people on the basis of what is useful or harmful for the society एक बहुत इजी एग्जाम्पल इसका हम लेके देख सकते हैं सो आई एम नॉट श्योर मेनी ऑफ यू हुए दिस मूवी कॉल्ड गब्बर इज बैक इट वॉज अ गुड मूवी एंड दे एम दिस द हीरो अक्षय कुमार ही वॉज गोइंग अहेड एंड ही वॉज पनिशिंग ऑल द करप्ट पॉलिटिशियंस राइट सो आइडियली ही शुड बी रिवॉर्डेड क्योंकि he is doing the right thing right he is punishing the people who are harmful for the society so he is doing the right thing to so, ravalsian ke hisab se he should be rewarded for doing this thing but he was punished at the end he was actually gone he was given punishment for it actually to kya hua tha ki usko uh, end mein i think he was he was given jail or or i i, I don't remember but he was punished by the government right so because he was punished for doing right to the society this is going against the ravalsian principle ravalsian bolta hai ki whoever is doing what is basically good for the society should be rewarded right and then you have the next thing which is called as need theory need theory basically goes ahead and says that individual should help the members who are in most need of the society Uh, to distress their disadvantages again uh, ye typical um, typical old old school movies hain jab jab hum purani movies dekhte hain what do we see that there is this hero who is going ahead and uh, tip, you know many of the rajnikanth movies are about this i remember i watched one such movie uh, in which um, you know he became very poor he just had this one rupee coin and then he grew his empire again just to help the poor so so basically need theory kya bolta hai ki you need to go ahead and individuals who are well off uh, should be helping the individual who are at a disadvantage theek hai to ye hamara need theory ho gaya right beta so so just try to see we are okay with policies which increase the welfare of rich and poor we are okay with policies which don't help poor and increase the welfare of the rich we are very very happy with the policies who increase the welfare of the poor keeping the welfare of the rich unchanged mm. this by the way is a positive sum game kyunki dono ka hi welfare increase ho raha hai but we are not happy with the policies which increase the welfare of the rich at the cost of the poor which decrease the welfare of the poor this is a zero sum game iska welfare badh raha hai iska decrease ho raha hai right so we are not okay with these kind of 
uh, of uh, theories with these kind of policies, okay? And this is what we need to go ahead and avoid according to Ravel Sian, right? So this is it for today, beta. Thank you. I hope you liked the session. If you liked it, please go ahead and subscribe our channel. I will be coming every day from Monday to Friday at 10.30 a.m. I will be helping you practice questions on IES, AS, and uh, DEPR and, I, uh, and UGC NET. And do go ahead and join our Telegram group. Give a like button to me so that I am encouraged to go ahead and make such videos for you. Thank you.